think the main thing, my first days at Pacific, I didn't really get a chance to feel lonely or sad when my parents left because we have a week of welcome and there's so many different activities happening. We have concerts and different like mixers and um, activities that you can do to meet new people. I was already just thrust into the Pacific family and the environment and I got to meet a lot of my best friends um, in that, those first weeks. And so yeah, I never like got a chance to be homesick because there was already like so many fun things happening and so many things to try out and explore on campus. One thing I appreciate about Pacific is the variety of people from across the country and the world, you know. I have friends from Chicago and San Jose and, and Israel and, and Pakistan even. And it's it's great to be able to experience, you know, their their cultures and, and learn new things about the world. So what really drew me to Pacific is the Pacific Humanities Scholars Program, and that's one of the few honors programs that really emphasize the humanities for scholars like me who want to major in English, like film, history, things like that. So with that, we actually get to go on a road trip to Ashton, Oregon to see the Shakespeare Festival. And as a first-generation low-income student, I never thought I would have an opportunity to do such things. I'd say one of my favorite things about campus is how there's always something to do. There's always activities going on. Um, for example, every Saturday we have socials where people play games and eat food, but even on every other day of the week there's always something to do. Um, we have a bunch of clubs and even off campus we're super close to Sacramento and San Francisco and so there's no reason to be bored on campus. Definitely being elected president of my fraternity, Theta Chi, which is a social fraternity here. Um, the brothers really put their um, trust in me and leading the fraternity, and I really took that as like an opportunity to just grow um, in my leadership skills um, and just manage a, a fraternity. Um, and I'm doing really well so far. I've done a lot of great events. Um, it's awesome being the face of a fraternity and just having the brothers behind you um, and always by your side. So that's definitely an awesome experience I've had at Pacific. As a resident assistant at Pacific, um, I really enjoy how easy it is to build community, uh, especially with other resident assistants and also with the community that you're uh, overseeing. Um, you know, being able to like plan a bunch of socials for your residents and, um, you know, chat about how your on-call day went like with fellow resident assistants. It's, it's really nice. I think the opportunity to play the sport I love and pursue a degree at the same time. UOP is really competitive in water polo. We came sixth in the nation last year, so yeah, it was just the, the opportunity to play water polo and study at the same time with some guys that I've known almost my whole life. When I was first coming to the United States, I was really scared because it was my first time ever visiting the country. But University of the Pacific made me feel really good and confident about the decision I made. Uh, UOPI made a lot of events and parties for international students where we could all meet each other and hang out and therefore I was able to make a bunch of friends right away. I just felt like I belong here. Uh, my college experience will definitely be the time I will never forget. My favorite thing about Pacific is the community. Uh, we are so close together that I get to be friends with all my psychology classmates and also with the debate partners I have and we all close together we hang out together and I know I'm gonna remember them for the rest of my life. Something that surprised me in a good way I would say was being a transfer student I was really nervous about making like friends and meeting like a community within the school of people who I got along with um, but since it is a smaller school it does feel more homey and people are super welcoming here um, which I kind of wasn't expecting.